What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and the time has come to make us a Talos build without having any idea what his stats or damage numbers are. We're going to base this off of what we do know, and then go back to the build once the game is released to see how it works. From what we know of Talos' kit is that he's going to be a bruiser tank that thrives in the thick of teamfights. With that in mind, I'm going to try to make a build that takes advantage of Talos' passive and active abilities to wreak havoc while debuffing the enemy team, with the option to peace out if things get a little too rough for our liking. I'm making this build with solo lane in mind. As most of you know, Ethereal's item system includes 6 item slots with extra slots for boots and consumables, so we'll actually be building 7 total items for the finished setu. First up, we're going to go with reinforced boots. This will give us 60 movement speed, 25 armor, and 100 health. This passive will boost our movement speed by 10% when we haven't taken damage for 10 seconds. Talos doesn't have much in the way of an engage outside of his ultimate, so the extra movement speed will let us get all up once before people can properly react. Our first item is Parhelion's Havoc. No idea if I'm saying that right. An axe that gives us 40 physical power, 10 physical pin, and 10% cooldown reduction. I want this early to give us a boost to our wave clear and some bully potential. While this is our first item, it's kind of what the entire build is centered around. Talos has some big physical damage AoE attacks, and the Plate Shredder passive on this item will let us debuff a ton of targets at once. Second item is Berserker's Shield. As I mentioned in the Iran build video, this seems like a must for any type of bruiser myth. It gives us 50 armor, 300 health, and 30 power. The Vanguard's Rage passive provides us with power and attack speed while above 50% health. Dipping below 50% converts that speed and power to armor and health regen. I think it's pretty self-explanatory as to why any melee bruiser would want this. The next item's build order kinda depends on your scavenging huntsman passive. I have it as number 3, but that's uh, probably a bit optimistic. Harvey's backplated chest guard gives you 60 armor, 30 magic resist, and it converts 5% of your armor and magic resist into physical power. With scavenging huntsman passively providing Talos with increased protections, this thing will probably be an auto-include in any type of Talos build you do. Next slot is a bit of a flex slot. I think most of the time I would take Quartering's Edge. This gives us 40 physical power, 24 physical pin, and the passive applies a debuff to enemy health and shield regen. This type of item is usually a must-have in any MOBA. However, if no one is building lifesteal or something crazy like that, you may want to look into some of the other axes. Our fifth pick is Amulet of the Ancients. This will give us 25 magical power. Uh, we really don't care much about that magical power. All it's really going to do is increase the bleed damage a little bit from Radial Sever. But it also gives us 400 health and 20% crowd control reduction. The passive called Ancient Salvation activates when you dip below 30% health. You spread roots in a 150 unit area that root enemies and heals you for 2.5% of your max health for each enemy hit by the roots. If they, hit, uh, if they hit enemy minions, it also heals you, but only for a 0.5%. This is going to be our decision point indicator. If your roots are triggered, we need to decide fast if we should continue wading into the enemy, possibly using our ult to get all up in there, or if it's time to use our ultimate to piece the fuck out. The final item is Cursed Gift. This gives us 25% mana regen, which we couldn't give a shit less about, 15% crowd control reduction, 20% cooldown reduction, and 10 movement speed. This item has several passives, with the third being the reason why we take this last. The Golden Requiem passive gives you increased passive gold gain at the cost of halved economy from lane and jungle minion kills. We do not want this in the early game. What we do want are the other two passives in the late game. Eldritch Boom gives all allies around us 10 mana regen, 10 health regen, and 13 movement speed. Cursed Presence gives all enemies around us minus 15 armor and minus 15 magic resist. We'll be in the mix spreading plate shredder and decreasing health regen anyway, so why not fuck the enemy team over just a little bit more? And that's my possible Talos build. Some of the weaknesses I see are that we don't have much magic resist, so this build may get blown up by mages until we can get our passive to max stacks. We also don't have much persistence, so we'll be susceptible to crowd control. Let me know what you guys think of the build, tell me what you would change and how you would build Talos. Be sure to check out Jelly Knee's website, ethereum.gg. He's been working hard on creating a myth builder that will make all of this so much easier. I don't know if it's functional yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a tool that you guys will love. 
That's all I have for now. Like the video if you want, sub if you feel like it, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangu!